Dear yeah, ladies and gentlemen, good evening, good afternoon, good morning. I hope that all of you are doing well. I'm Dominic Bladner, the ITDF High Performance Manager, and I'm very happy and delighted to warmly welcome all of you to our 42 ITDF High Performance and Development webinar with the topic 2024 Youth Player. We are looking forward to hear what our panelists did in the very challenging year 2020. But before going over to the introduction of our panelists, I want to talk briefly about our webinar code of the Q&A. To all the attendees, please leave your questions in the Q&A section. Our panelists will try to answer as many as possible in the question and answer part of the webinar. Thank you very much for taking care of this. And now over to the introduction of our panelists for today. It's a great pleasure for us to warmly welcome Anna Goda from Egypt. She is the first African to be ranked number one in the world in under 15. Egypt's youngest ever national champion, listed among the 10 inspirational Egyptian women game cha change makers. And also a warm welcome to Kim from Australia, the multiple medals winner at World Junior Circuit events in doubles, singles, and teams. He represented Australia at multiple World Junior Championships and represented Oceania at multiple World Cadet Challenges. And he is the current Australian Junior Champion. Hello, Finn. Hi, everyone. So thanks again uh, very much, Hannah and Finn, for taking the time to be with us today online. And also a warm welcome to our experienced ITDF High Performance Elite Coach Massimo Costantini. So pass over to you, Max, and I kindly ask you to start the interaction after your welcoming words. Thank you. Thank you, Dominique. Uh, thanks again, Hannah and Finn, uh, for being with us. Uh, one from Egypt, one from Australia. We try to connect the world somehow, you know, in our uh, a uh, way to keep uh, interaction with uh, our protagonists of uh, table tennis and uh, fan and uh, passionates of table tennis. So yes, uh, we have these two young, uh, young um, prominent uh, players uh, from uh, Egypt and from Australia, Anna Goda, as uh, Dominique already uh, presented and Finn already presented by Dominic, uh, achieved uh, quite uh, remarkable uh, results around the world. So um, before starting, going a little bit more on details uh, um, on table tennis, of course, the first question starting with uh, Hannah is the, how is the current situation uh, with uh, COVID for you in, uh, in Egypt? Uh, it's getting a little bit better. Um, last year was really bad, and the beginning of this year was also pretty bad. But this month, uh, it's 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 getting better. Uh, we don't have quarantine now, uh, but everyone, of course, is wearing masks, social distancing. But we are training. Uh, we go. We're going to the clubs, the gyms, but. Uh, always with social distancing and everything to prevent the virus from going, I hope. Yeah, all the precautions of care. So no more quarantine for for local lo, local people? No, no. No, okay. So, Dominic, we have to wait a little longer to go to Egypt. Okay, fine. We will see. <laughs> how about you, uh, Finn? How is the situation uh, down under? Uh, yeah, for me, um, for us in Australia, it's actually not too bad now. Um, yeah, it's basically back to normal. We only had like a couple months last year where it was like full lockdown and we had to stay at home and everything. But um, now, like even outside, we don't have to wear masks, only like masks on public transport and like in supermarkets and stuff but like other than that it's uh pretty much back to normal um yeah the only thing that i haven't been able to do is travel internationally and yeah so that's still um yeah. obviously yeah can't do that but other than that in australia it's pretty much back to normal like training um going to training going to gyms and everything so yeah 
Okay, good. Then, uh, yes, of course, the situation is different um, country by country. But uh, curiosity, have you got vaccinated? No, no, no. You are too young, I guess. I think, uh, not me. Yeah. yeah, I think it's slowly getting rolled out in Australia, but um, as far, yeah, not not yet for me. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll see. Okay, so I want to invite also the the um, people watching this interaction uh, with Hannah and Finn uh, also to leave some uh, some questions uh, on the on the question and answer that is a section already uh, in the screen. Dominic explained already to you. So um, feel free that uh, at the end we will have uh, more time also to answer to those questions. So, uh, well, my turn is already done. I will pass the, the um, voice to Dominic and uh, he has uh, something for you guys. Back to you, Dominic. Thanks, Massimo. And now we are going uh, to one of the most important questions, I would say, today. Uh, I would also like to start with Hannah. Hannah, how was 2020 for you, especially when lots of activities were cancelled? Uh, it was very strange because uh, we were all last year, we, uh, I think, until uh, I think half of the year was staying at home. Uh, I was also training at home, but it was, it's different from training at the clubs. Uh, we also couldn't go to the gyms in the first half of the year, so uh, we made a gym in the basement and we got uh, the floor and everything done, so that was good. So I, I also trained harder to achieve my new goals. So there were also positive, positive things you mentioned and um, regarding, regarding the, 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 the practicing at home, so just that we can imagine it a little bit better. Where did you set up your table? I mean, it's not that easy usually to set up a table at home, you know? Yeah, yeah. In the basement, uh, we, for, for, ten, for like seven years, we had the table, but uh, it was only a table. So uh, in the other half, we made the gym from last year. So we made a new improvements and while I was traveling in Qatar they uh, re furnished like they changed a lot of things they changed the color and they got uh, more things for the gym so I'm really happy about this was a good thing that happened in 2020 <laughs> <laughs> so COVID, COVID had to happen that your your basement your your I would say your practice surroundings got even better and um, yeah, yeah. so you, you also use a red floor at home or? What? Are you also using the red floor in your basement? Table yeah, tennis specific yeah, floor? Yeah. Yes. Great. So, great. Hannah, so Hannah, your your home is a table tennis facility. Let's, let's uh, be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good. Okay, thank you very much, Hannah. And now pass over to you, Finn. And we are very much looking forward and interested how 2020 was for you. Uh, yeah, so it was a bit different for me. Um, at the start, when like the lockdown started, I was actually um, I was in Sweden. So I was supposed to go to the Italian Open um, the week after, but that actually got cancelled. So I had to come home. Um, and then also there was a, quite a lot of events planned up for that year. So like the, I was supposed to play the World Championships in Busan and uh, the World Juniors at the end of the year, as well as a couple of other international and national events. Um, yeah, but they all got cancelled. So yeah, it kind of changed the plan a bit. Um, but like when we went home, there was like the lockdown and also for us, we had to we um, went to training at home, but I didn't have such a good um, setup as Hannah over there. But um, yeah, so I like set up my table in my room. Uh, okay. Yeah, it wasn't an ideal setup, but like 
I kind of got through and yeah, yeah. As well as that, like the the, with the national team. Sorry? It. it seems that you Sorry? made the best of it, right? Yeah, yeah. I've also got my bed in the room as well, so I can be, like I can barely move in there. Yeah. But like also we um with the national team, John and also Simon, they set up like online training. Um so like every session that we did at home with the limited space that we had, we like went online and like worked on specific stuff like technique and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so great I think but Max I guess, joined. Yeah. I guess there is still no red floor in your room, right? No, there's no more red floor. <laughs> No, nah, it's just yeah. wood. And yeah, also, like, um, yeah. 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 Sorry, go oh, on. My room's upstairs as well. So, like, when I was training, it was really loud when I was playing on the floor. And the neighbors actually sent us a letter in the, in the okay. box and I opened it up and they were, they were a bit angry that I was playing in my room. <laughs> <laughs> Great. But I guess, I guess, of course, both of you were... Uh, very disappointed when all the activities got cancelled, but unfortunately it had to be like that. But uh, Massimo, we do remember we also had booked our flights to to Lignano, and then unfortunately we had uh, to cancel them, right? Yeah. So we feel the same. Actually, both uh, both of them uh, were uh, planned to take part to the yes. to the training camp, if I remember. In, uh, mm, in yeah. Italy. Discussing that you Finn, especially coming from Sweden, were in a, yeah, in a, yeah. a discussion to how to move to the training camp, and I think uh, these two guys are missing a lot of the ITTF training camp. Let's let's again be honest. Of Come course. on. <laughs> <laughs> <Of course. laughs> okay, great. And uh, now I would like to come back to Hannah for the next question, Hannah. Uh, what were your alternative programs in, in this special year 2020? Uh, so, as I said, the first half of the year we, we stayed at home, but the second half, uh, Egypt started opening because uh, no one could get anything when they're staying at home, so we had to open up. So. Uh, we played the league, the Egyptian league. Unfortunately, we lost. <laughs> ah. It was the first tournament um, to to be played, so it was a little bit strange. And because we weren't playing matches for a long time, and then suddenly we played the most important tournament in the in the Egyptian year, you know. But uh, after it, I started getting back and. We played the uh, under-18 tournaments, and um, uh, thankfully I won, and I, I played Amazing. in teams, and I won all of my matches. So uh, I started getting back in the end of the year, and uh, thankfully this, in the start of this year, I uh, started getting back and better. <laughs> yeah, but... But first of all, congratulations to your results. And, and secondly, I do think also Massimo, I can speak for him, that we are very happy for you that uh, you had some, uh, you know, activities, some some tournaments where, you know, played. So you are a lucky one, actually, I have to say, honestly, because in some other countries, unfortunately, they are still, you know, for not allowed to, you know, to have tournaments. So enjoy playing tournaments in Egypt at the moment, Anna. <laughs> But I, I guess you also did an excursion to the kitchen, right? Or because I, I saw a picture of you in the kitchen. So how, how did it come that you, you started to work in the kitchen, or, or did you yeah, do it before? I started. Also? I the only thing I can make is pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> so great. I was going to do pizza, but it was the worst. We are looking for a training camp. It's a good start. <laughs> <laughs> but no pressure, Anna, no pressure. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Anna. And now back to Finn. Finn, what were your alternative programs in 2020? Uh, yeah, so um, like I said, I didn't have too much of a lockdown. So I basically only had like one full month at home um, in which I had to play on my table at home. 
But um, yeah, during that during that time, it was actually quite productive. Like we did Zoom calls with the national team when we we're training, and like we got really good feedback from the coaches all the time. So yeah, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. And yeah, and also um, I have like a like a gym trainer. Um, yeah, and he really helped me to like keep my physical uh, fitness like good during that time in lockdown. So like. I went uh, for runs like in the park a couple of times a week and also did like some small gym program at home like twice a week. So, yeah. Yeah, we didn't I didn't I don't have a lot of equipment at home, but like mainly body weight exercises for like the core and like stuff like that. So, yeah. We are happy that both of you made the best out of the situation. And uh, if I remember well, I. I do think that Massimo was also one time with you in this Zoom online session, right, Pin? Yeah, yeah, he was. We we did some good work with like my serve, and uh, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was really good advice. Yeah, so I've I've still I've still been uh, uh, listening to that advice, and I'm still going with the serve. I've been practicing my serve quite a lot as well. So, yeah. So you you see Massimo, he's still remembering what you are what you told him. So big plus for him, you know. Yeah, that was uh, actually unforgettable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was fun. Actually, it was fun that uh, that day, you know, having been uh, doing some uh, some work uh, in the screen to see to try to advise uh, was a, a real real unusual interaction, definitely. But was uh, was good, was good. So then I have also some questions regarding this. So uh, Dominic, if you don't mind, I I I, I take uh, I take over. You are very much welcome to do this. Oh yeah, I was just thinking about what, the, what you were saying, doing some alternative uh, program uh, because uh, during that time everything uh, changed. Uh, the daily daily routine, I guess, also the. the, the I don't know if you had uh, home mm. school, having the school from home uh, or uh, any kind of uh, other uh, activity um, in in learning your uh, I mean your uh, degrees and so on, uh, or maybe also meeting friends. Uh, maybe it was also a good opportunity, Hannah, to focus on media. I know that you are uh, quite uh, strong uh, in your uh, social media. So how how did I don't this have social is? media. My mom is. <laughs> Uh, has all the accounts. I don't have Instagram or Facebook. I don't have anything. <laughs> but you are, you are quite popular. I mean, it's so. Uh, tell us a little bit more, Hannah, about this kind of change. You know, I think it requires a, a different ability in uh, in uh, in learning. Whether is uh, you know the the the, the school stuff or uh, doing math. Uh, or <laughs> table tennis, like we have done with uh, with. So I think it uh, it it gave uh, uh, an, an enrichment in uh, let's say in uh, in the learning process. So it's not the same routine, but something different. Can you tell us a little bit more on this, Hannah, and then uh, Finn? Yeah. Uh, at this time, uh, all the uh, before before the quarantine started, I didn't even go to school. I was always homeschooled because. Uh, I didn't have time to go to school. <laughs> I always wanted to train in the morning and train in the afternoon, and I don't have time for school. <laughs> I studied when I woke up very early in the morning, but in quarantine, I started online school, and the teachers uh, with, this, with the classes and everything, it was really good. And I also uh, uh, studied, not studied, uh, I read about the rules in table tennis i read the book but i forgot huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I but, but i i learned a lot of things in quarantine and i also uh, before it i just every day was different but in quarantine i had a morning routine or night routine and it was very nice experience <laughs> How about you, Finn? Uh, yeah, actually, my, um, for me, for school, uh, the quarantine was actually pretty good. Um, so, like, before 
before the lockdown, like I went to a local school, like near my house, and I wasn't actually able to train as much as I do now. But um, as like during the lockdown, we had to the local school had to switch to online anyway. So I kind of used that opportunity to like change schools to a fully like online school. So now I go to this new um, fully online school and that gives me like a lot more flexibility to like complete schoolwork and stuff whenever I want. So like hopefully like when we can travel again, that'll be really useful to me so I can uh, do my schoolwork overseas a lot more efficiently now. So yeah. This this homeschooling, I mean, uh, I, I heard that uh, it, it's it's uh, easier or uh, it's it's uh, someone said that all oh, the homeschooling, online schooling, I call homeschooling or uh, in US they have homes homeschooling which is online schooling. It's it's mm. uh, it's uh, harder than uh, than the doing in presence or it's easier. It's Pin. easier. It's easier. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe when uh, like you're older, it's because for me, I'm like in my last few years of of like senior uh, school, so it's actually <laughs> for me, it's quite hard. Like without the teachers and stuff, it's quite difficult to like get around. But like, yeah, yeah so so yeah, it takes up a lot of time as well. So it's and, like, not that it, like yeah, it's not that that online schooling that uh, uh, that you say I I I teacher teacher I started. The line is very, very disturbed. Sorry, I cannot see you. Oh, my voice is broken. <laughs> is <it going> <laughs> Sometimes I, mean, I did that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, well, I sorry. didn't know the answer. Maybe. I don't know. My connection is very bad today. I cannot do that. <laughs> great, great, great. So during during this time, uh, uh, what, what what was the the, the have, have you done any any uh, I mean uh, special uh, work in terms of uh, of table tennis? Is something different that the regular routine? Uh, uh, maybe focus maybe on serve or maybe also analyzing more match, watching a lot of videos. Have you done uh, something different in order to to improve overall your uh, your table tennis knowledge? Again, we start always from uh, from Hannah. So I uh, when quarantine started, I I got all of the old matches for, for the, from the Chinese players and I watched every single one I think I can't find any <laughs> matches now to watch <laughs> but I watched a lot of matches and I also trained more on my service game and my receive and I uh, trained more on these things <laughs> because uh, before before we were always going to the club and we were playing the main training when when it started i trained on specific things that we don't uh, do in the clubs and things and how about you finn yeah pretty much the same yeah i did a lot of serving especially like working on like new different serves and also like improving my previous serves and also like yeah same as hannah just uh, going on YouTube and just watching a lot of matches and like watching and learning from the best players. Great, great, great. Yeah. So I, I, I remind the, uh, our attendees uh, to, uh, to, to, to drop any questions if, uh, if you want to uh, in the questions and, uh, and the answers. So we will uh, try to, uh, to answer at the end of the, our first uh, group of uh, questions, which I return to my colleague Dominic. Thank you very much, Massimo. And yeah, to all the attendees, use this unique chance to, to ask uh, our great youngsters your questions. And uh, now back to Hannah. Hannah, we suppose you had goals for 2020, but how did you then adjust? to the situation? How, how did you adjust? Um, I worked 
even harder than I've been working before to achieve my new 2021 goals because a lot of things, as Finn said, we, we, uh, I, uh, we were going to the Busan and the junior tournament, the cadet, tour, cadet challenge. Uh, th these were my goals and I wanted to take like first place in the cadet and a lot of things, but uh, I worked harder so I can achieve my 2021 goals. Okay, great. And you mentioned the, the 2021 goals. So, Finn, I will be back to you after this question. Uh, what yeah. will be your next goals, Hanna? Uh, my next goal, as I said, uh, is to uh, win as a team the league, but after it, I, I want to work, want to train very hard because I want to be in the top four in the senior African championships. I hope I can get, get a good place. Good luck for your coming competitions. And uh, as if I remember well, your, your league will start very soon, right? At the end of March, no? Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, after 10 days. After 10 days. And for how long will it last? Uh, four days, the first the first part, and the second part is seven, I think, seven, uh, the next one. Okay, great. So sounds very, very tough. Uh, we wish you all the best for your coming competitions. Thank you. <laughs> and now over to Finn. Finn, we also supposed that you had goals for 2020, and how did you adjust? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I had pretty big goals for 2020, um, mainly at like the World Junior Championships, um, like putting myself in the best position possible to um, get uh, medals in like all events. So like training as hard as possible throughout the year and then kind of playing my best at that event. So yeah, I was still able to train like really hard. And also we had a lot more time uh, without like traveling overseas and stuff. So I was able to train like really hard during um, the time that I was at home and also at the club. Um, but yeah, also on top of that, um, I just kind of set myself the goal to like get as familiar as possible to like the new, to my new online school. So like going forward, I can, um, I'll be used to it and then when I do go overseas and when I have the opportunity to like travel again it should be really good and yeah I'll be able to focus really hard when I'm overseas so great we wish you all the best yeah. with and uh, regarding your next goals when you are now thinking about uh, let's say the the coming months what what will be your goals uh yeah so we don't have so many tournaments now, but like we do, we should have um, the national championships in July and hopefully like no, no new lockdowns or like surprise, like COVID cases come along so we can play that. And yeah, for me, my goal would ultimately be to win the national championships, which I think is very possible at this stage, but I'll have to like work really hard and, focus on my training and do everything right in prepare, preparation for that. So, yeah, I really hope I can play as good as possible there. And, yeah. And if, if, if the World Juniors does go ahead at the end of the year, which I really hope it does or whatever it is now, I'm not sure if it's still World Juniors or not, but, yeah, I really hope to play well there as well. Fingers crossed for you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Finn. And now pass back to you, Massimo, for the next question. Yeah, well, actually, I was uh, I was listening the, about the, the goals uh, and uh, uh, was uh, was curious from uh, from uh, Hannah uh, to be in the top four in the in the in the in Africa and when uh, in the uh, or, or the league. How about the top four in the world? When when is the goal yeah. for the top four in the world? 2024, 2020 Olympics, something like that, or you want to go, you know, little step by little? 
Yeah, step by step because I, I step step. set a big goal, but I also set a little bit smaller goal so I could achieve <laughs> and maybe achieve more. <laughs> Don't set high expectations. <laughs> okay, okay, good, good. So, uh, talking about the, um, you know, the, the the new things that you have done uh, during this time, uh, uh, confined at home and uh, working on new things. What what were the opportunity to to test your, let's say, your new abilities? There was some tournaments that you played that you have noticed. Uh, how to assess, you know, implementation, uh, the new habit. Have you had a chance to to see that those uh, work you have done uh, previously uh, was uh, uh, was um, uh, was uh, quite uh, quite uh, you know uh, achieved? Have you had, had, had anything of that again? Yeah. And go on the first. In the, yeah, in the beginning of the year, I won the women senior championships, the Egyptian one. Uh, it was the most important tournament for me because uh, the last one in the beginning of 2020, I lost against the same person in the final. So I was really happy that I won it. And uh, uh, I also, last month before traveling to Qatar, I played the junior one, I also won, won it. And in the junior one, I experiment more like <laughs> like ah. try new things and uh, not play the same because maybe it's a little bit a little bit easier not very easy <laughs> but a little bit easier <laughs> true 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 and uh, how about uh, how about how about you Finn have you got the chance I... to, really, to assess uh, your uh, new skills and I, I actually I'm looking forward to to see your serves uh, in next. Uh, maybe training camp or competition somewhere if it happens <laughs> yeah um yeah i have had like a couple of tournaments to like assess my skills um yeah and the serves actually do uh have been quite effective in the, uh, the past tournaments um yeah i felt um also that during the lockdown i, I did a lot of like work with my psychologist so i was talking to him a lot and like thinking of how I can perform better mentally in matches. And yeah, in the past few tournaments, I felt like I have improved a lot in that area. And especially in like the closer moments, I'm able to play a lot better than before. Okay, good. Yeah. Very good. Very good. So I, Dominic, I keep going. I have one question for... Uh, um... Please go on, go on. Anna, because because she was mentioning before uh, the competition in Qatar. We were there. We were there to for our global uh, and senior training camp. And uh, yes, we also we, we have seen uh, Hannah in action, back in action. So um, Hannah, I, 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 we saw you playing with Lisa, Lisa Lang. Unfortunately lost uh, uh, quite uh, quite close but well, first of all i was uh, from your uh, point of view the the the, the impression the feeling uh, the, the the black table the blue lines uh, was uh, something you know can you tell us a little more about your uh, first um, impression of that new things and then you tell us about the match okay uh the table was very cool but <laughs> for for my <laughs> It was the first time playing in all black, so it was very new at first. I didn't, uh, I didn't play as good in the first, but in the beginning. But uh, I adjusted while playing, and uh, it was a very nice experience. It was the first time traveling without my mother. <laughs> it was ah, very strange, yes, but yes. I really liked it. <laughs> cool, cool. Uh, I want to try it again <laughs> because <laughs> I want to be like responsible for it. because uh, uh, before when my mom was traveling, I didn't care if I lost some things, she would get it. But now I had to think about if I, if I left my jacket, if I left my racket, I had to focus <laughs> on every single thing. <laughs> 
So that's yeah, a very good take, experience. You have to take care of yourself, uh, yes, yeah, so, um, on your own, of course. It may, makes you more responsible, and uh, and then when you know when you are there uh, playing nine nine ten ten, uh, you are you feel stronger, you know, to to um, to take uh, to to make decision. So uh, that was 11-6 actually in the fifth game. It was very balanced uh, game. 11-8, you lost the first, then you win seven, lost nine, win six, and lost uh, six. Tell us a little bit more about uh, this this match. It was a sort of you know roller coaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, every game. Uh, except the last one, I was leading in all of the games. Like in the first game, I was leading 7-4. Uh, the third game that I lost, I was leading 4-1. It was, it wasn't, I didn't play the best, uh, mm -hmm. but I learned a lot from this experience and um, I, I really hope that I can win in, in, in other tournament, in other senior tournaments. So basically, you had a very good start, uh, leading uh, quite uh, quickly, but then something in the in the middle and uh, the end of the game uh, uh, didn't work out. So this is something that yeah, you. Yeah, the problem can... is that I'm. I want to play very fast. I <laughs> no way to get the ball. To you. This is the very <laughs> bad. bad you, you got to be. You got to be you got to be wiser. You have to you you have to learn how to be wise. Okay, good. And yeah, more I'm trying. Cool. But time, time is on your side. The time is on your side. Not to get worried. All right. So uh, great. Um, then uh, Dominic, I think you have uh, something for uh, also for Finn. Yeah, you're very right, Massimo. And of course, it would be a you know weird question, Finn, if I would ask you. When we will see you again, you know, international on the international tour, because there are still some uncertainties, but we hope to see you, you know, as soon as possible again competing internationally as as Hannah did in Qatar. Uh, and you mentioned a little bit uh, the situation with Australia, but how are the possibilities for you regarding the competitions in Australia? Are there in the near future? Any competitions which will be maybe unofficially, you know, also, um, you know, I don't know, um, like played, you know, so not just official yeah. competition, but maybe they do something for the players, you know, to, to get a little bit back on track? Uh, yeah, so for actually like last year, um, we when we went back into the hall, there was still no competitions but um my coaches set up a kind of internal competition within the players in our group um, great, great. and that, that was quite strong as well so we played like a competition a month for a uh, prize money and like yeah that that kind of pushed us to like play really <laughs> hard against each other and fight against each other so yeah that was really good <laughs> so the and then, um, <laughs> yeah and then, uh, yeah, for this year also, um, there will be uh, Table Tennis Australia just uh, created uh, these two events, which they called the TTA Tour events. So they're basically like uh, nationwide events where like anyone can play um, from across the country. And then, yeah, that'll be quite a strong tournament as well. But um, yeah, that's not really, that's kind of just, I think it's like a warm-up tournament, but um, the main uh, tournament in Australia for this year will be the national championships. Uh, yeah, as I mentioned before. So, yeah. How many how many tournaments in this uh, TTA uh, tour? How many tournaments? You, you, you touch different places of uh, Australia, which is not yeah. actually the whole country. <laughs> yeah, it's it's one country, Australia, <laughs> but there's like a few different states. So yeah, yeah. The first so the first one will be. Um, how many tournaments in this tour? Like uh, three, four, ten? Uh, it's only a new thing, so I think they're just like trialing it. So there's only two. Um, there's one in Sydney and one in Melbourne. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. 
And, and uh, uh, how much will be the time between the tournaments? I mean, or will it be a series, you know, two tournaments in a row or how does it yeah, look like? Yeah, yeah, I think it'll be, yeah, it's two tournaments like on, uh, so it's like they're both two day tournaments um, and they're within the week. So there's one like on the 1st of July and one on like the 7th of July. So, yeah. So it'll be like kind of back to back, yeah. Okay, Dominic, can I ask you again one thing regarding this? Because uh, many places uh, of the world uh, the, there are, uh, you know, uh, internal tournament. Uh, some is just for uh, create activity. Some also to to uh, to establish sort of a uh, selection. Mm -hmm. Are those tournaments a part of a selection to be selected in national team or? Uh, or is just a, a way to make activity. I can ask to John, of course, <laughs> and also to yeah. Eva. Now, now in Australia, you have uh, one of the greatest uh, coach, Eva yeah. uh, Yeller, which I say yeah. hi if she's, uh, <laughs> she's there. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think you have to ask John because I'm honestly not really sure so much <laughs> about this, but um, okay. yeah, I think uh, it's just kind of. Yeah, like an event, not really for, um, yeah, for any like selections or anything. But yeah, good, good to have it anyway. Good to have it. Yeah. Sorry, Dominic. Good, yeah. No, no issue, Massimo. No issue. Great input, and uh, yeah, we are we also appreciated a lot. You know that that the member associations try to do you know, the best and then try to do as much as uh, possible uh, regarding the allowances and so on. So, yeah, great job of them. And hopefully this uh, series will succeed. And then maybe we can also see you on, on, on the screen, you know, Finn. Maybe there will be live streams. Yeah. So it would be great if you could share with us and with the whole world. Sure. Okay, good luck for, for this. And uh, now I pass back the mic to Massimo. Yeah, well, uh, still uh, curious uh, regarding the the time you have uh, you have spent at home uh, um, uh, for this uh, online learning, whatever table tennis or uh, well, mainly table tennis, of course. Was uh, how how did it work uh, if you had one? I mean, Finn definitely had. Uh, I don't know. Place the camera in your uh, in your uh, place, and then having a streaming with your uh, with your coach. Uh, how how mm. did this work, uh, Finn? I can start with Finn, and then back to you, Hannah. No worries. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So we just got like my tripod on my phone and put it in like the corner of my room, um, and then yeah, so. We kind of just left like the coaches in the corner and then uh, they gave us a program. We uh, like did some exercises uh, like with the space that we had and then sometimes they'd call us and like give us some advice and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That it was uh, the, the the level of interest was uh, was was good. It was a kind of uh, you know uh, distracting or. Uh, um, have you noticed that uh, it's a different focus uh, rather than in presence? Uh, uh, what was the, the 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 pure feeling, you know, uh, having this kind of uh, online stuff? Yeah, um, yeah. Sometimes like it lost focus, and it was like quite quite different to like uh, being in like the hall with many like players around you to like kind of lift up your motivation and like push you to train harder, but um yeah i think i didn't too, do too well and kind of just like whenever i was on the table i just made sure i stayed focused and like got the most i could out of the session and then yeah because the yeah the training sessions that we did online like were a bit shorter so like we didn't lose focus and yeah in that time you just had to make sure that you were on the table all the time and like zoned in Okay. And like knew what you were trying to uh, trying to work on, yeah. How about you, Hannah? What was the the level of interest of new things? Uh, okay, you set set up uh, your uh, your uh, your house as a table tennis facility. I understand. But how was the overall? <laughs> the... 
<laughs> how was overall? Did you enjoy the level of interest? Uh, uh, how was it? But uh, for me, there wasn't uh, online. There wasn't an online thing. The coaches came, came home, oh. came to to the basement, and everyone was taking care. So there, of course, social distancing. But because we tried the online thing, and uh, it's I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't do it. <laughs> not 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 easy. Uh, not easy. <laughs> yeah. Good, good, good. So uh, back to the uh, uh, to the, the the that competition in uh, in uh, Qatar. Okay, we heard about uh, Hana being protagonist and uh, playing there. But how was the from the spectator point point of view, Finn? How did you find this? Uh, you know this. Uh, a new uh, setup, uh, uh, different definitely. Yeah. Huh? Then yeah. tell us your uh, your thing. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah I was I watching have, a lot of watched yeah. all the matches. Have you watched all yeah. the matches? Yes. The answer is yes. Yeah, most right? of them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the ones I want to watch. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it was a bit. It was a bit strange. Um, with like the side angle, I kind of found like. Yeah, I, I didn't enjoy it as much, to be honest, and I couldn't really see as much from that angle. Yeah. But from the, like side, angle, from the side angle is a great uh, feeling of uh, really having the, 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 the perception of the, the high speed uh, of the ball, you know? Yeah. Because, uh, maybe at home people, uh, they don't realize how fast is the ball, but that watching from side camera, is really great. So that was yeah. my, my my feeling. That was uh, was was it the same for you? Yeah, there's like there's there's positives and negatives as well. Like as you said, like you can you can see the how fast the ball's going. But for for like us as table tennis players, like we we can already like relate to that kind of speed. So for me, I'd rather like see how like the players are moving around the court and like their footwork and how they bend down for every ball so yeah for me i personally prefer the other angle okay okay if uh, anybody uh, listening from <laughs> we have additional feedback <laughs> from Lucien. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. It was it was cool. Actually, it was very very cool. I I liked it a lot. As as we said, different, new, but uh, yeah, also new things uh, uh, take a little time, you know, to adjust to uh, to get used to. And uh, I think it's it's a really cool, really cool. Um, Dominic, I think uh, we are getting uh, to the to the conclusion. You have one more. Uh, you have one call, more question. So back to you, Dominic. Thank you very much, Massimo. And yeah, you are very right. And we are coming now to the to the last question for you guys today from our side. I have to say, I hope a few. Questions will arise in the Q&A section for the Q&A part of the webinar. Um, I would like to, to start now with Hannah. Hannah, uh, it would be very interesting to know who your role model is and what you can learn from, from him or from her, because I don't know your role model, your current role model. Yeah. My role model is Dina Meshrup. She is number one in the national team, in the Egyptian national team. She is one of the kindest people I've ever met in the world. She's uh, she she's very supportive and she always she always wants me to be as the best I can be and I always love training with her mm -hmm. and I learned a lot from her in this tournament because she we were with each other not in the same room but next to each other. Um, uh, she always taught me how to prepare before the matches. She, al she also taught me um, how to be mentally ready for all the matches and how to focus. And okay. I, and, and I really, she's, she's the best ever. And, and in, in Qatar, she, she did very good. Uh, she won against huh? Cho Hyuju. 
3-0 and this was a very big like achievement and I was really happy for her and I hope she can achieve more and and be good in the Olympics and get maybe a medal in the mix or mix doubles and yeah if you're watching Dina, you have to I love punch, you. punch up as much as possible from her Anna. <laughs> Yes, but but besides all you mentioned, you know the kindness uh, that she is helping you a lot, whatever you know. Um, regarding the table tennis specific things, what 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 would you like to learn from her? Uh, I would like to learn from her the flick because she she her flick is the is very good. She goes for all the way and it's. It's but I think, I think she does it with the other arm, no? No? With the other hand. Yeah, yeah, but maybe learn the same technique with the other arm. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's, it's about the banana flick, right? Yeah, I love her banana flick. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Thank you very much, Hannah. And uh, now, pass over to you, Finn. Who is your role model? And what would you like to learn from him or from her? Um, yeah, for me, like outside of table tennis, I don't have such like a great, like a, a, a well-known role model. But like for me, it's just the people around me, like, um, like my coaches and like, uh, and psychologists and like uh, gym trainers and also my parents of course um I learned from from a lot from them like on a daily basis just how they kind of operate day to day and get things done uh yeah it just inspires me to push myself especially my parents what they go through and what they sacrifice for me to play table tennis every day is just um yeah just really thankful for that and um in terms of table tennis, my role model uh, is probably Liam Pitchford. Um, yeah, firstly, I really like like how he plays, especially his backhand. I always like watch his backhand and try to try to copy that and try to learn a few things from that. But also like, um, I guess he he like when he was younger, I kind of see him as having the same kind of situation as as me, like. Table tennis is probably not the biggest sport in England, um, same as Australia, but somehow like he managed to push his way to the top and become one of the best players in the world. So yeah, I hope I hope to be able to do that as well. And yeah, that just pushes me to train really hard every day and try to become the best I can. Well, to hear that, and I, I guess you followed his matches, no? At the uh, Olympic qualification, right? Yeah, yeah, he's been a bit unlucky, but um, I think he's playing the Russian uh, Kirill something in the final now. So, yeah, I'll be sure to watch that match. Yeah, it will be at uh, 4.20 uh, Arabian Standard Time. Yeah. So maybe, yeah. I don't know. If maybe tomorrow will morning. <laughs> we'll be a little bit late in Australia, but I, I guess you will... Fingers will be crossed for him from your side now. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably I'll probably watch the live stream on Facebook tomorrow morning. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. Good choice, good choice. Okay, so yeah, yeah thanks for uh, for both uh, your your answers on, on our questions. And uh, now it's time for the Q and A uh, part of the webinar. And uh, as we can see now, the questions which arose were already uh, has already been answered by you. So I just know that Massimo has won one game for you. But to all the attendees out there, so if you are uh, interested to ask any questions, please do it now, because we will soon you know, conclude the webinar, but first I would like to pass now to Massimo for a short game for both of you. Uh, yes, well, actually, uh, you know, talking about the role model, I was thinking, uh, 
what is the the, the ideal uh, uh, players, uh, female uh, and uh, and male, and maybe uh, I can tell you one uh, one stroke, uh, and you can tell me the the, the name of the player that. Uh, is a master in that stroke. So then we will have one sort of ideal player. Let's start immediately with Hannah. The best serve, who, would, who do you think has the best serve in female? I have a pen, I'm ready okay. to write down. Female, yes, quick. <laughs> I had the answer in, for the males. <laughs> <laughs> okay, male is okay. Okay, go Pan ahead with Pan the Panjendong, Panjendong, yes. how about you, Finn? Oh, males, jeez. Um, Massimo sure, Constantini. Massimo Constantini. Yeah. He showed you that. Dominic, that is, of course, is above of everything. <laughs> okay. um, I'll just say Timo Ball, probably. He serves, like, really simple, but it's very effective. Oh, Timo Ball, very uh, effective. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Best serve return, um, Finn. Um, probably if uh oh, Lin Yun Ru. <laughs> Who? Lin Yun Ju. Lin Yun Ju. Oh, okay. very good. Yeah. How about you, Anna? Harimoto. <laughs> okay, Harimoto still uh, uh, male. My answers are very bad. <laughs> Anna, back and flick, back and flick. Your your mm. uh, favorite. Fanjin Dong too. Again, Fanjin Dong. Oh, two points, Fanjin Dong so far. Back and flick, uh, Finn. Yeah, I'd say Fanjin Dong as well. Oh, mom, Fanjin Dong and the foreign flick. Something that we have uh, we have uh, um, talk about our uh, latest uh, um, weekly training lessons. Please, Finn. Uh, I'd say uh, Paul Drinkle. <laughs> His Paul forehand Drinkle. flick's actually really good, yeah. Good. But how about this uh, this uh, um, uh, pitch for Liam? No, no. Okay, maybe maybe next. Paul, <laughs> the foreign flick. How about you, Hannah? Uh, Malong. 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 Okay, Malong. At least, at least Malong has one point. Four in top spin. Some of them. Three more. Three more, and then we conclude. <laughs> Four in top spin. Four in top spin. Malong. 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 Yeah, okay. Yeah. Malong. Malong. Yeah. Malong is, is recovering yeah. over Fanton Dong. How about you, Hannah? Yeah, Malong. <laughs> Malong. Three holes. Back end. The best back end. Fanton Dong. Fanton Dong. Calderano? No, no, Calderano. They forgot no. Calderano. Dominic. <laughs> yeah, Calderano. Sorry. Hey, you already no. said something. No, sorry. No, 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 no. Back, back. <laughs> Finn. Point. How about you, Finn? Uh, Liam Pitchford. Okay, Liam. And then we have the last, uh, one of the most important, uh, the block in general. Block. The best block. Finn. Amsonov. Okay. Great answer. Great, great, great Vladimir. And how about you, Hannah? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. Hannah <laughs> Goda? No! no. <laughs> I'm the worst at blocking. <laughs> Uh, maybe Sansano. I'm sorry. Sansano. Okay. Okay. So we have actually the winner is uh, Fan Zhendong with the four votes. No, no, no. The answer, Fan Zhendong. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> this one is Monte Calderano. Okay, but okay. Then is uh, uh, we have uh, we have actually no. It's uh, Fan Zhendong is leading three uh, three, uh, two over uh, Malong and then. Uh, Okay, then uh, Lin, Timo Ball, uh, Liam, Samsonov with two. Okay, that uh, that was good. I think there was one uh, one uh, one question here from our colleague. 
Ah, okay. The, what is your favorite uh, emoji? My favorite emoji is the is the happy face with crying. <laughs> when he's crying. Ah, okay. The happy face with, uh, with tears. Okay. Yeah. And you, Finn? Mr. Finn? Uh, probably the upside down happy face. <laughs> Oh, okay. yeah, right it's not the, the thing like this very strong oh yeah put that <laughs> <laughs> okay okay dominic i think we can uh, we can conclude very 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 uh, interesting and fun interaction interaction with hannah and finn so dominic back to you thank you massimo and yeah you are right there's no other questions a roast. Um, I, I would like to take the chance uh, to say, dear Hannah and Finn, you were really great uh, panelists and showed a great performance like we are used from you at the table. And we, the entire ITDF HPD team, we thank you a lot for you know taking the time to be here today and sharing your insights and your experiences regarding the year 2020 and how it was so successful youth players like you around the world. So thank you very much to both of you. Thank you. Thanks, Dominic and Massimo for having us. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Great to hear it. And uh, I also would like to uh, thank um, all, all of the audience uh, out there for attending. And we we hope our 42 ITDF HPD table tennis at your fingertips webinar was very interesting for you. And I'm looking forward to announce uh, the next webinar, which will be held next week on Wednesday, the 24 March at 2 p.m. Central European time. And Assistant Professor Dr. Petra Saletel from Slovenia will uh, continue her ITDF HPD table tennis at your fingertips webinar series input related to nutrition with the topic nutritional supplements so stay tuned for the future activities and don't forget to sign up and that's all from my side for today stay safe and healthy and i kindly ask my dear colleague massimo for his closing words so pass over to you max thank you dominic yes i have to really thank uh, hannah and finn for your uh, for your time, uh, Finn, I hope it's not too late for you. It's 11, 11 p.m. Okay, for one time okay. you are excused. And uh, Hannah, I think uh, you will be ready to have a very good lunch, but please don't cook anything uh, because uh, the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, only, pizza, only, I can send it to you. Third, yeah. okay. So thank you very much, it was, uh, was interesting. We have learned and heard from you how uh, the, this past 2020 that we hope really is uh, belongs to the past, and then we can meet again uh, in person in our activities in uh, around the world in, in during the, the the competition and so on. Yes. So, guys, this uh, this uh, next uh, um, webinar will be very very interesting. So you too don't miss it because. And our yeah, friends <laughs> around the world, uh, nutritional su supplement, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's really a part, uh, uh, really interesting to, to, to be there and hear what uh, Petra will, uh, will talk about. So again, thank you very much. Thanks again, uh, uh, all the attendees, Dominic, all of you, and uh, see you next time. And uh, enjoy, stay safe, uh, and uh, ciao. Bye bye. bye. See you next bye. time. Bye.